Hi everyone, my name is Pele Renata and welcome to my channel. For today, I have hoped that I can intrigue you with these pictures and show you an art journal page that I made a couple of years ago, but uh, still comes as one of my favorite pages. First of all, I will start by heat embossing this uh, stamp set from Studio Light. It comes from their uh, Grunge collection. It is a really an old stamp and honestly I'm not sure can it be found uh, any longer but honestly the particular stamp that I'm stamping at this moment can be found in some other collection or at least something similar. Also for the stamping I was using a Versa Mark watermark stamp pad and uh, this uh, holographic embossing powder from Ranger. The effect that I'm creating now won't really be seen until I start uh, applying colors because it's basically in a holographic transparent embossing powder on a white background. Also, I will do this heat embossing mostly on two opposite corners of my page. Now here maybe you can see a little bit of shine effect that I created, but now let's start applying colors. First, I wanted to uh, wet my paper a bit so the paint would spread more naturally. Now this page I created uh, two years ago, so I will try to remember the exact colors that I used. One thing is for sure, these colors that I'm using are from Lindy's Stamp Gang. And I believe this first uh, color comes from the Starbust sprays and it is called Whale Watch Blue. And it's really, really beautiful uh, gray color with a tint of blue. Really nice one. Now here, as you will see, I will try to dry this first layer of color so it wouldn't uh, blend too much with the second layer. And I will also show you how it looks on the other corner when I don't uh, dry the first layer. It has a really similar effect, but it still has its uh, slight differences. Anyway, now for this uh, second color, I will say I am not 100% sure, but I believe the color that I have used here is called Azure Sea Asters, also from the Starbust Sprays collection. Also, as you can notice, I'm still spritzing some extra water to make the paints uh, move a bit more. And I think it creates a really beautiful effect. Now, sadly, the third color also ca doesn't come to my mind. But if I would have to guess, I think I would say it is Delphinium Turquoise. But please, trust me, I really am not sure on this. Also, I will go once more back to adding a little bit of a darker shade, this uh, first color that I used, the Whale Watch Blue, because I wanted uh, these different shades of color to be seen between the layers. Now, once I was done with drawing this side of my page, I will go to color the other corner, the opposite corner of uh, my page. And as I said uh, before, the only difference that I will do at this corner is that I won't be drawing my page between the layers of color as I did for the first corner. So hopefully you can see uh, slight differences here also, apparently, <laughs> I applied a little bit more water than on the previous corner. But, as I said, the result will have differences, but will still somewhat be similar. Oh. 
Hopefully you can see how colors here are blending better than the previous corner. Mostly it depends for the effect that you are going for and the technique which you feel more comfortable with. But with the beautiful colors like these Lindy's sprays, the results will be pretty regardless of which technique you choose to go with. After drying both corners you can see the slight result in the effect. In the upper corner the colors are a little bit more layered than in the lower one, but since the colors that I worked with are same, it won't bother the overall look of my page. Anyway, now I decided to do some stamping, and as I didn't want to introduce any new colors, and I wanted some uh, loose stamping, I decided to stamp with uh, one of the colors that I use uh, for the background, the darkest one the whale watch blue and the stamp that i am using comes from caravel studio the name doesn't come to my mind at this point but i will uh, write it in the description box down below together with other products that i have used for this project and just in case that you are wondering i on purpose didn't want the full image of the stamp to transfer i just wanted some extra background interest in this case After the stamping was done, I am adding some more splatters, once again using uh, Lindy sprays, and the color that I am using now is called Blazing Black. As I mentioned at start, this is a page that I did a couple of years ago, and at that stage of my art journaling I always used to frame my page in a way. This time I decided to freehand draw the frame using Pigma Micron pen in black color, and I am just drawing lines to add some kind of loose type of frame. It is a technique that I still like to use, for my pages, but somehow I just did it a bit less nowadays. The effect of it you can see better on the close-up photos at the start of my video. Now was the time to start working on my layout, and these absolutely stunning paper elements that I'm using are from the Craft Clock Ocean Deep Collections Extra Stucat. I think I have to say that this is still one of my absolutely favorite collections from Craft O'Clock. Anyway, as you can see, I have uh, pre cut my elements before uh, starting to work on this page. Also, these elements use as in uh, color inspiration, and at this point, I'm just trying to figure out the layout. Off camera I will proceed to adhere these elements, for some of them I will use a really thin foam tape, while for others I will just use uh, liquid glue. I generally don't tend to make uh, too much dimension on my pages, but sometimes some thin foam tape can really look great. Anyway, now the time was to figure out a quote. The sticker sheets that I am using are from Studio Light, Janine Mindful Art Collection. Once again, I have to remind you, this is an older project, so all the products that I am using are older and sometimes harder to find on the market still. But anyway, if I can find some of these, I will uh, put the links in the description box, or perhaps you already have some of these items in your stash. But anyway, the products are not the point. The point was to inspire you and show you some techniques that I like and tend to use. After uh, adhering my quotes, I sometimes like to frame them, so they would stand against the background more and uh, perhaps draw more attention. And anyway, time for some final touch. I am adhering uh, enamel dots from Marianne Design. 
These are called the dew drops. And while they are really subtle, I think they are really pretty detail. But if you don't have enamel dots like these, some other things that you could use for a similar effect are embossing powders, glitters, glitter glues, or even uh, texture pastes with uh, glitter effect. Oh, actually, this wasn't the last detail. I uh, really enjoyed that the sprays which I used uh, from uh, Lindy Stamp Gang have a little shimmer, but apparently that wasn't enough for me. So I decided to use Wink of Stella brush pen with a clear shimmer effect and apply them over random places on the uh, paper elements. And finally, that was uh, truly the last step. I hope you enjoyed this uh, process video, as this really comes in my top uh, 10 favorite pages. Anyway, wish you all a nice crafty day and see you soon! Bye!